Wait a minute. Where are we right now? Whoa. That's a cool looking transport. Hold on a second. What is in the background? Oh my goodness. It's the battle of Exegol. From the most recent Star Wars movie, it may not have been the best. Are those? Those are the new TIE fighters. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this. Now, if you'll notice, there are Sith clone troopers. Whoa. Hold on. We got incoming. Stop shooting at me. All right. You know what? Oh, he got me right in the nuts. Blueberry jams everywhere. But this is the Battle of Exegol, and apparently this map took five months to create. They jumped out of the transport, which is hilarious. I want to take part in that battle right there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So this was one of the things that I've always wanted to do was take part in this battle because while it was a little bit hokey and crazy at the same time, it was incredibly visually appealing because you're literally battling on a Star Destroyer. Look at these guys hitting the trenches, lying down, taking cover. Are you guys actually fighting smartly? Hold on, that's that's not how guns work. <laughs> yes! Now, the only unfortunate thing about the Star Wars modding in Ravenfield is there's a few scattered weapons packs out there, but there's no, like, default and de facto, like, that is the best one to use. Oh my gosh, we got killed by Sith Troopers! Oh, yes. Okay, so here's the Sith Troopers, and I want to get access to one of these fighters. It looks like there's only... Oh, there's four of them. Okay. Why is the AI always running faster than me? Look at that beautiful red armor. Hey! That's illegal! Look at those models, dude! I'm shiny and beautiful! So I believe these guys are called tie daggers. I think that's the capture point right there. Now I gotta see this before all the other Sith troopers come up and, and take command of this thing, but there we go. So this is what the hangar bay looks like. I forget the name of this capital ship, but it's absolutely massive. It's like Palpatine's command ship, I guess. The whole scene i think in the movie it was visually entertaining but i felt like the last of the luke skywalker saga or whatever was just absolutely kind of over the top you know it just felt like oh yeah this is this is a disney movie all right but i don't know if it's necessarily a star wars movie but look at how many star destroyers the atmosphere presented in this level is incredible so what i want to do is just do a little bit of a flyby look at that that was the platform we first came out on, and that is a rebel transport. It will deliver troops, presumably, over to the area. Because, hey, why go in the hangar bay or, like, do anything else? Let's fight on the surface of the ship and have cavalry. <laughs> you remember that? There was cavalry. Okay, so let's see if I can't see some enemy targets. It's actually kind of a little tricky to see them. Oh, that's, that's an X-Wing. Where is he? Oh, that's a transport. But yeah, the capital ship is just massive. X-Wing's getting ripped up by TIE Daggers. It looks like um, Imperial class Star Destroyers out there just, and that was the whole thing. Like there's more Imperial class Star Destroyers in this one planet hiding in a cloud than there have been, it felt like ever. You know, especially in the movies, obviously in the universe is different, but in the movies, Hopefully I'll hit some of them. I think <laughs> I think I hit some of my guys because we're the red team. So whoops. Sorry guys, call it chalk it up to friendly fire, but Emperor Palpatine is a very angry man. So I'm sure he'd actually be proud of me and happy in my battlefield initiative. Let's see if we can't board this ship. All aboard. All right, so I've landed on the Rebel, a.k.a. the Resistance, because they're not Rebels anymore, they're Resistors. We are resisting. Hey, R2, won't you, uh, that was a mighty fine gin and tonic, R2, won't you mix me up another? Who knows what that's from? So, this is <laughs> a Sith Trooper flying an X-Wing. Now, this was created by three people. Moose did the map, the vehicles were done by Fascination, KR-7X, and the sounds were done by Rift. And I've got to say, all of them are pretty, pretty well done. I like how my head's sticking out. That's that's just Ravenfield for you. So hopefully my friends won't shoot me down. I mean, they're AI, so they shouldn't. Let's let's get a feel for how... What? Okay, who was piloting that TIE Defender? Do you know how hard it's going to get for me to commandeer another X-Wing? 
<laughs> Alright, let's check the map and spawn in, in a different spot. Now, I've got an E11, but I think it's rubbish. I'm gonna use this thing, because it looks absolutely outlandish. Ooh, those tie defender noises. Dude, check this out. So, I'm like deep inside of our ship. This is one of those situations where if Ravenfield was multiplayer, I fully believe that the modding communities would be even more robust than they already are. But I'm so pleased and happy and proud and in admiration of the modding communities. I'm kind of lost in this. This should be the hangar bay shortly. Guys, help me. Where am I going? Oh, this looks like some actions happen. Whoa, he's a hacker. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna spawn in the hangar and there's a, there's there's a point over here, but I feel like the hangar is where all the cool kids are hanging out. And I'll wait for another Thai dagger to fly out. I didn't see any transports. Look at this. Let's take a closer look at the models. See the guns? I I, I don't think I picked the right uh, weapons pack. There There isn't an official one yet, and these guys didn't create one. They spent literally all this time creating one of the most amazing maps we've seen so that's what is that the sith symbol or the first order symbol half of it and then the not the rebels but the resistance all right here's a beautiful tie dagger these things are small although in all actuality it makes you wonder why the tie fighters uh solar panel wings weren't created more like this because like look at how little view you would have in a regular tie fighter you'd, you'd lose so much now, luckily, we can go in third person. And I think some of these Star Destroyers, we might be able to fly around. I'm tempted to kind of mess around with them. But ultimately, I think the objective should probably be to land on this ship. Can I land on the top? Was this captured by us? Because there's a TIE dagger right there. Okay. Oh. <gasps> I should be able to land on this. All right, now look at the shadow. Where's my parachute? There it is. <laughs> All right, parachute. We're, we're technically not in space. I think we're like close, we're, but we're definitely in atmosphere, right? This is just absolutely beautiful. And I like the lights. It makes it look like, you know, a battle is going on more than just here in this localized little bit. All right, so uh, this looks a little... Check your corners. Dude, I tell you what, one of the issues seems to be don't, don't you love it? They're not afraid to shoot at you from obscene distances. Whoa! Are those proton torpedoes or something? Did you see that? Oh, they snuck up behind me. We are under attack! At close quarters! They have invaded our capital ship here. Nothing in the hangar bay. But it does make you wonder if EA hadn't gotten the rights. Uh-oh, they're aboard. Spooner's down. I can lay down some serious pain, man. Close quarters battles, this is incredible. I love these models, man. The Sith Troopers did look very, very cool. All right, here we go. All right, so checking the map. The Resistance has retaken. It doesn't, it's not like a Corellian Corvette. It's not one I'm familiar with. What, what class of ship is this? It sort of looks to me like Corellian in design, but I don't really know well enough. So I do have rockets. We'll go on a strafing run here. Let's get our targeting right. Uh-oh. Those look beefy. And we're getting some direct hits. Okay, the troop transport is down. It was taken out by yours truly, who used to read the X-Wing books, man, way back in the day that are now, they're Star Wars legends, not Star Wars lore, right? Or not Star Wars canon. And it was Rogue Squadron always going up against the 181st of the Empire. And there was a guy named Baron Fell, and he was cool. All right, I think... Oh. Well, I did an oopsies. Wow, the First Order is just absolutely taking everything from us. We may have air superiority, but they seem to have ground superiority. Oh man, Emperor Palpatine is gonna be so displeased with us right now. So we'll try out as resistance now, and hopefully I'm making my way to the hangar. There's three X-Wings and the transport. All right, I followed my GPS this time. I don't have any astromech droids to lead me here. All right, everybody, all aboard. Not all at once, but but preferably sooner rather than later. This ship looks amazing. Guys, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get hit. I'm a sitting duck right now. Well, screw it. Dude, this thing, this thing flies so weird. Oh my god, the, the cockpit is absolutely terrible. It's like whoever designed the B-Wing and whoever designed this, like, what is wrong with you guys? This is the strangest thing ever. I can't... Oh! 
Okay, once again, the sound effects are incredible. Oh my gosh. Okay, while it's it's very strange. Uh-oh. Evasive maneuvers. Oh my gosh. I need a I need a better aiming reticle. <laughs> oh my god, this is I didn't think I was gonna enjoy this, and then I started firing the main gun. And I just have to just like track my shots which is very tricky but at least when i get a hit that thing goes tie daggers go down pretty quickly i have incredible maneuverability oh hello x-wing please don't ram me <laughs> okay okay guys i get it i'm a really good pilot sort of ah the virgilla frigate virg Vir virgil virgil virgil's on the got a watch on the paddock or two turn to up didn't do my taxes you know something about virgil man virgil's in there he's in there all right boys and girls it's time to be to have the coolest sound effect in all of the star wars galaxy I wonder if any of those will reach their target uh oh i need a gunner <laughs> this is so hard to do all right we're just gonna fly and see if i can't get in that hangar now it flies like a helicopter, but it doesn't look like a helicopter, so my my frame of reference is a little weird. Like the intuitiveness, <laughs> sons of biscuits. I'm gonna land in that hangar. If it's, it's the, the last, last thing, thing I, I do. do. This is probably why nobody wants to get my transport because we don't really make it out alive. Plus most of the troops don't spawn on the frigate. They spawn over there on the landing pad. All right, here we go. Making our way downtown, Star Wars, da 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 Disney. I'm, I'm getting some there we go i disabled the other transport oh i just ran out of munitions oh wait this is gonna be fun there's infantry on the ground there hey guys who who requested uh who requested air support ow 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 <laughs> well they killed me so what we're gonna do is just be a spectator for a moment and take in what five months of just passion and part-time work has done like these guys might be going to school, they might have jobs, and they took the time to finish a passion project for us to play. So here we are. The battle hasn't begun just yet. This is basically the outer extent. S these guys are parachuting out there. That's kind of funny. I was wondering, it seemed like some of the infantry just disappeared. They like jump off in some way and, and start parachuting. Now, the main infantry battle, which is kind of crazy, happens over here. Look at that, Sith troopers running around. Resistance troopers on their, albeit very cool looking transport. Very crazy looking, look at this. This thing looks like it's designed to just like land and drop off a couple, I don't know, 100 troops maybe? And then, you know, like let's fight on a Star Destroyer. Something I always wished I could see. I'm not sure where the Star Wars franchise is going. I've been a fan of it since I've been a kid. The last trilogy, I didn't really enjoy. But then again, Rogue One's got to be my favorite Star Wars movie ever. And that was created during the Disney era. So it's just kind of a mixed bag for me at this point. They're entertaining. I'll see all of them every time on opening day. But they don't make them like they used to. Look at this. These things look really cool. These little lander boats. Now, if only they had the animations like... This is, this is Ravenfield, right? This thing is so cool. He's just flying around, dude. I gotta get a hold of one of those. I wonder, is that being piloted by somebody? If I check the map, where I'm looking, where am I looking? Yeah, he's flying right there. Sith troopers could essentially parachute off of this. Here's the hangar bay, which is pretty fun. Man, it, it makes me, it just, Ravenfield's such a cool game. The modding community is so incredible, but I can't help but wonder where it could go and what it could be. Anyway, this is what I guess 10,000 Star Destroyers looks like. Palpatine, man, maybe you should have used, I don't know, a thousand of them, 10 of them, a hundred of them to make some small improvements so you couldn't just be absolutely like ambushed and wiped out, you know? Anyway, that, that, that's just some strategic advice. Not that you need it anymore. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching another video of Ravenfield. A little round of applause for the mod makers here. Let me know if you'd like to see more, and I will see you guys in the next one.